free image overlays. This video is not a tutorial video, it's just to provide you with some free image assets that you can use in your luminar edits. There's rain, there's smoke, there's fog, there's bubbles, there's not too many at all and these are some of the ones that I have been collecting over the years. I'm not going to claim that I made all of these, I had to make a few adjustments to them to make them usable in luminar but I didn't create most of these so I'm not going to claim that in any way at all. I've just adapted them so that you can use them in Luminar if you so wish. What I'm going to do is a short, very very short tutorial showing you how to use them. So let's dive right in. Okay I'll show you how these work then. First thing you do once your image is in, go in, add new image layer and it'll take you straight to the freebie assets folder and for here let's choose rain. Click open and that should fill your entire screen depending on the aspect ratio of your document. That should fill your entire screen and you can resize it using layer transform if you wish to blend it and go straight to screen and there you have the rain on top of that. Now we can build this up I'll take that back down to there just so that the image itself and you can also Use Edit Mask to brush away any areas that you don't want the rain on. Let's add another one. Add new image layer. Let's just intensify this rain. Let's go for Rain 3. Again, that will drop on there. Screen Blend Mode. So you see we've now got more depth to the rain within this. And we can take that back through there. I'll add a couple more just to show you how they, you can build them up. Again, add new image layer. Let's go for sun rays. And I know Luminar has sun rays built in, but these can be used to accentuate certain areas within your image as well. Or indeed not even to be used as sun rays. Perhaps you can come up with another idea for their use. Click open. That will drop in here. Again, blend mode, screen, take this one right back to about there. And the final one I'll add, just because we're building this up just to show you, same again, add new image layer, let's go for some fog. Click open. The fog will drop in. Again, the blend mode, screen, and you see we have it there and we can pull that back just to accentuate that. We can also use, as I said, layer transform and I can drag that down a tiny bit and I'll just extend this over the screen slightly and click done and there we have it. That's how you can build these up. There's other ones there as well. I'll just continue with this one and add another one. Let's go for the bubbles. Open, just to show you some of them working. So the bubbles will drop in here. I go to the screen. We have the bubbles there. Take the opacity of them back. Let's scale them as well. And just have fun with this one. I'm going to walk the aspect ratio here and I'm going to take that down to about there and take the bubbles out of the dragon's mouth. And what you will notice when I've compiled these together, some of them have square edges. So be careful of that. It's just where I've made them in the same aspect ratio as the document. So what you can do then is you can get to brush, choose erase, Take the brush size right down and just take out the ones that show any square edges. We're okay there. Take out a couple there and there. So that's the assets I've got for you. Feel free to use them in whatever way you wish. Hopefully that made sense in how to use the image assets and use them for whatever purpose you want. That's entirely up to you. As you see I put bubbles and they're coming from a dragon there. So it's just for fun just to see what you can do with them. And they may be entitled Sunrays, Mist, Scratches, Dirt, 
fog, but it doesn't mean you have to use them as that. You can use them as anything else at all. You could use the rain to add a texture to some images. You could use it as a texture. You could use the scratches to enhance other parts of an image. It's totally and utterly up to you. So hopefully you'll find them useful. Short video, but thanks for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, help yourself to the free assets, by the way, the link will be down below. If you've enjoyed this video, please check out some other videos in the channel. And if you're currently not a subscriber, please consider subscribing as that would be absolutely fantastic. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next video and stay safe.